Blog Talk Radio. Uplift the lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Miss Kim Robinson. Lord, just so, so wonderful, awesome, just so great, powerful, oh, so beautiful, omnipresent, marvelous, alpha, oh man, I, I just gotta tell you, you just. And omnipotent, you know everything you omniscient. When you start something, you always finish it. From Revelation, starting back to Genesis, you're the record holder. No need for Genesis. Heaven is home. Your throne's the premises. Alpha and Omega never is diminishing. You turn mad men in a gentleman. You're the prescription. No need for medicine. You're so perfect, great and intelligent. You are the president of all presidents. So many masses inside your residence. Messages from your angels is heaven sent. Jesus Christ is who you blessed us with. And the Holy Spirit is what you left us with. You're magnificent. Lord, you're the best thing ever happened in my life. You are, you are. Man, you're magnificent. Lord, you're the best thing ever happened in my life. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are. You're magnificent. Hey, you made the heavens first. The sun, stars, moon, the whole universe. It's for existence to this whole planet Earth. It formed man straight up out the dirt. Your father gave everything birth. The explanation, how much you were worth. You live in water, so we'll never thirst. Bless spiritually, although my flesh curse. Angelic beings are always at work. You invented disciples to create church. You know everything, you don't have to research. You a healer, doctor, surgeon, nurse. You move forward, you don't have to reverse. You just act, you don't have to rehearse. God to see me through the pain and hurt. It's show mercy to what we deserve. You're magnificent. Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened in my life. You're magnificent. You are, you are. Man, you're magnificent. Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened in my life. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are. You're you magnificent. Made the oceans and trees, lakes, ponds, creeks, every water stream. Articulate, creative, everything. Gave us voices so we can all sing. Lord of Lords and King of all kings. You taught Joseph how to interpret dreams. You made silver and gold say ching ching. Made every diamond go bling bling. Salvation, you gave it to us for free. You made the summer, fall, winter, and the spring. I'm so proud to be on the winning team. J E S U S G O D. You made the grass, flowers, roses, trees, fruits, and vegetables. And planted all seeds. Perfect in all your ways. Yes, indeed. This is my letter to thank you for blessing me. You're magnificent. Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened in my life. You're magnificent. You are. You are. Lord, you're magnificent. Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened in my life. You are. You are. You are. You are. You are. I just want to tell you, thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for me. Ever happened in my life. Thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to die for my sins. Everything you did for me is not in vain. I know we live in a crooked and corrupted world. I appreciate you for all things. You are all in all. I just want to tell you, thank you. I love you. Yes. You appreciate it. Even within my heart. I love you. Amen. Amen. We thank God for another opportunity to come before God's people to 
share God's great gospel. God is so good, and his mercy endures forever. And um, before I go any further, I'd like to say a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for blessing us with life, health, and strength. We thank you, God, for being the great and mighty God that you are. Your El Shaddai, your God, that's more than enough. And, Lord, we just appreciate all that you're doing, you have done, and will do in our lives. Now, God, at this sacred moment, I ask God that you give me the words that will be uplifting to your people. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. And, God, I thank you and I praise you. It's in Jesus' name that we do pray this prayer. Amen. Amen. Thank God for all of you that are listening uh, on Elation Radio Broadcast. Uh, We are just so grateful for another opportunity that God has given us uh, to share his great gospel. Um, Like the scripture says, it's the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. It's because God is so good. and His mercy endures forever. He just loves us so much that we are still here. I'm just so grateful that you Take the time out of your busy schedule to uh, tune in to tonight's broadcast. Again, God is just so good, and we just give him all the praise, the glory, and the honor. Tonight, people of God, uh, the Lord gave me this message. It's all behind me. It's all behind me. Philippians 3 and 13 says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Thank God we've made it to this uh, still fairly new year. We're in the month of March. But God is so good that he's allowed us to make it to this third month of the year and um, I know around the newness of the year, uh, around this time, a lot of people have already proclaimed or yet proclaiming and declaring this is uh, this is their year, breakthrough and favor and, uh, is coming upon us. And, and child of God, all of that is very true. The scripture tells us, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter, 17 verse. And that's why the Apostle Paul could write this because Paul had been an arch persecutor of the church. I mean, he was a bad man. He begins in this letter, in our uh, saying it in our language today, he says, look, I, I haven't made it yet. I'm writing you, I'm teaching you, but I'm striving as well. And, and we Christians... We're trying to live a life that God and his word prescribes for us to live. We have not made it to the destination that uh, that God will have us to be when this life is over. We're striving. We're working towards that. We're we're putting in our work now. It's kind of like you're working on a job. You're working. You you haven't retired yet, but you're working towards retirement. So um, every so often – You'll look on your your pay stub and you see a certain amount of money that is being deposited into a retirement fund because you're working to one day be retired. And you see a certain amount of money going into the Social Security because you're working one day to receive uh, those benefits. And that's what we're doing today. We're working to get there. Paul says, look, I haven't made it yet. I'm writing to teach you what I'm striving to do. Every day we are pressing towards the mark of God. Or should I say every day we should be pressing toward the mark of God. Paul tells the church at Philippi, I'm striving and I'm pressing onward in God. And if I can just encourage you to keep on pressing on, stay obedient to God. It may look dim. It may be dark. Feel as if breakthrough is a long lost friend. But stay with God. God and stay the course according to his word old church used to sing a song if I stop right here I won't get my crown I've got to run till the sun goes down 
In other words, they were saying, I got to run this race until it's finished. I, I can't quit it. I got, I still got a ways to go. I still got some things that God is calling me to do, and I need to go until I reach that goal. So we got to keep pressing on the upward way. And like the song says, new heights that we're gaining every day. And we're still climbing and it's upward. And God, we're asking him to plant us on higher ground. That should be the goal of every Christian, to continue to get better and to go higher and higher with their walk with Christ. Don't We shouldn't want to stay at the same level that we started when we became uh, new converts. Uh, we should know more scripture. We should be able to live more scripture that we know. We should be able to pray and really uh, touch the heart of God We should be able to uh, Spread this great gospel to Those that are lost we, sh- we, we, we should be walking out of fear Because God has not given us the spirit of fear But he's given us power And love and a sound mind So those things that we're afraid to do We're afraid to step out on faith And start that business Maybe afraid to step out on faith To write that book Maybe afraid to step out on faith To fulfill that calling That you know God has called you to be you been told and you've been prophesied to you God has showed you And told you himself And you're still uh, skeptical and, and, and don't know What should I do You need to have faith In almighty God And seek God So he can help you To grow higher and higher In him Paul also advises us to leave The past We've seen or we we ourselves often live yet in our past, still crying and down about past hurts, past failures, and past defeats. But child of God, allow your past to shape, mold, and project you to that great godly future that is bestowed upon you. Your best days are yet to go. Come. Change your mindset of negativity and how often you've fallen in your past. and Change your mindset of not seeing yourself where uh, God wants to see you or where God sees you, but rather seeing yourself where you are right now. Yes, you might be broke, busted, and disgusted right now, but God sees the end of the matter. God sees where you can go. God sees the higher heights and the deeper depths in him that you can uh, make I mean make it to and be what God has called you to be, but you got to get past your past. You know, so many people get up every morning and they beat themselves up about the past mistakes and past failures that they uh, made, the past sin. You know, and and that's what Satan wants to do. He wants to keep you your mind bogged down and feel like nobody will accept you because they know what you did. And nobody wants to hear. You talk about God because they know what kind of a mess or wreck you were, or uh, nobody wants to will receive me when I sing because I'm singing about God and they know that I was a, a mess and I was tore up from the floor. Nobody wants to uh, read my statuses on Facebook, Facebook because they know what I've done. See, that is Satan trying to plant all that negativity in you and keep you bound to your past and keep you bound to your sin. But I declare in the creed right now through the blood of Jesus that you make up in your mind to this evening this, or whenever you hear this message that I am going on with Jesus. I'm not bound to my past. I'm moving forward. I'm going higher. There's great things in store for me. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. I'm the lender and not the borrower. I am everything that God Says I am in his word I'm more than a conqueror I'm healed, I'm delivered And I'm set free And I'm going higher than I've ever been Satan does not want that for us Satan wants us to be bogged down to uh, Those weights That's why the Bible tells us to lay aside every weight And the sin That so easily beset you Sometimes we think about our past God will, will lay upon our heart Go speak to that person Or call that loved one And tell them about me and Encourage the heart And the first thing that often comes in our mind is Well they know that I used to do this And they know that I used to do that 
And and, and that be, may very well be true. But God is the God of restoration. God is the God of a new beginning. God is the God that will take the mess and make it a masterpiece, and he will use your mess for his glory to help somebody along the way. I'm glad sometimes uh, I think about my testimony and think about the things that I've been through and think about the things that I've done and well, the, the shame and the embarrassment that I went through. And I look at it now, and I'm kind of like what Paul said. It was good for me that I had been afflicted. Well, I mean, David said this. I'm sorry. David said it was good that I was afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. And some of us today, because we had been afflicted, we were able to sit down and pray and spend moments with God. We were able to read our Bibles. We were able to listen to uh, the men and women of God give us the word of God through preaching and teaching and prophecy and things of that nature. We got what we needed to project us into our future. And it was good that we went through that divorce. It, it might have been good that we went through uh, the, the children out of wedlock. It might have been good for us to go through uh, the crime that one may have committed. It might have been good that we went through uh, not having money in our pocket. It might have been good that we went through uh, the sickness and disease because it was at those times that we drew closer to God. God was able to speak to us through his word and himself speak to us in our spirit that we might learn his statutes that it will project us into a new and glorious future. So many times we just feel so down about our past and we can't get past our past, but I encourage you tonight to get past your past. Change your mindset of negativity. Think about how God loves you. He's willing and ready to change your life for the better. His word says in Jeremiah 29 and 11, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. God's got great plans for you, child of God. I know it may look dim right now. I know it may be dark. I know you may not see where you're going. You may not see a glorious future. But uh, as my, one of my favorite preachers says this, Bishop Charles Blake, I see you in the future. And you look much better than you look right now. You might be looking broke right now, but I see you prosperous. You might be looking depressed right now, but I see you have joy unspeakable and full of glory. I, you, uh, you might look uh, sick right now, but I see you healed, delivered, and set free. You might be going through bad times, might be going through afflictions. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But remember this, the Lord shall deliver you out of them all. So no matter what you got going on, know that God is still God, and he will bring you through. Paul also gives us in the last part of this verse, it's time to reach. Once we've gotten to the place where we've forgotten our past, we're confident and feeling good again, but sometimes we stay stagnant. We're, we're not doing anything. People of God, I close with this. Uh, my favorite football team is the Florida State Seminole. I'm a diehard Florida State fan. Love the Seminole. Um, season ticket holder, I mean, I I, I love to go watch Florida State play football. I, mostly every shirt, uh, polo shirt I have is a Florida State shirt. So I'm a diehard fan. Love it. And they this year they, they, they just hired a new coach by the name of Willie Taggart. And and he's brought so much energy to the program. And I mean, just I, I've never really – I've heard of him before he came to Florida State, but never really watched his teams play, don't really know much about uh, him but but just listening to some of his, his press conferences and stuff really intrigued me, and I started to heal from, uh, you know, losing a great coach who I thought was a great coach, Coach Jim O'Fisher, and to get him now, I'm, I'm kind of buying into his system. But there is something that he says, and his motto is do something. And, and I thought about that for tonight's text, do something. People of God, it's time to do something. It's time to work towards that goal that mission, and that call for and on your life. It's time to get up and get busy, research, get online, go to the God-given people that can give sound, godly advice, and do something. And in the words of uh, this uh, DJ that I know from my local uh, area, his name is DJ Master Jap. He has this, he says, do it and do it quick. Now, I know we don't always get the results fast, and we, we want some things. We want to put it in the microwave and it be done quickly. Uh, everything is not going to be done fast. Everything is not going to be done quickly. But 
you can do something. And you can get up and do what God has called you to do. 2018, the talk must cease. It's time to take action. I will work and get my degree. I will own that business. I am healed. I am delivered. I am becoming the head and not the tail. I, I, I'm, I'm becoming everything that God is calling me to be. My past doesn't define me, but it refines me. I think I'll say that one more time for somebody that may have not have gotten it. My past does not define me, but it refines me. It makes me better. It makes me think about where I came from and where I'm going and where I'm going to be, what God has called and ordained for my life. I'm not looking back, but I'm moving forward. All things are becoming new. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. I'm the lender and not the bar. Being in lack is behind me. Sickness and disease is behind me. Living a negative, healthy lifestyle is behind me. But I'm living for Christ. That is my quest, my aim, and my call. I'm moving ahead because my past is behind me. People of God, if you could just repeat that after me, it's all behind me. Yes, I messed up, but it's behind me. Yes, I, I, I missed the mark, but it's behind me. Yes. I didn't finish when I, I should have finished, but it's behind me. I, I'm, I'm on a new new wave now. I'm, I'm going higher. I'm moving forward. I'm, I'm going to do the things of God. I'm not going to be held to my sin and shame, but I'm I'm going ahead. I, I can't keep thinking about how I messed up, but now I'm thinking about how I'm going to grow up in Christ and how I'm going to be all that God has called me to be. I am moving forward because it's all behind me. And since it's behind me, don't be like Lot's wife turning around, looking at what you've left behind, but look, keep looking forward. Keep your eyes on the prize that's ahead. God has called you to do some great things, and we can't do those great things and move toward those great things looking behind us. We thank God from where he's brought us from. We thank him from the the danger seen and unseen that he's provided a way of escape from, but it's time to look ahead. What has God called you to do? Don't look at how, you know, you were broke in the past. Don't look at how you were depressed in the past and how uh, those negative factors that was in your life. Let those negative factors project you to a great and glorious future that God has for you. Being confident in this very thing, he that which hath begun a good work in you, will perform it until the day of the Lord Jesus. I say this quite often. God started you off, and he will complete what he started in you. But you have to look ahead. Not looking back, I'm moving ahead. I'm moving, moving forward in Christ Jesus. There may be someone that's under the sign of my voice that is listening and saying, you know, I just keep looking back at, um, I had, you know, children out of wedlock. I, I, I got fired off my job. Um, I, I got tension in my family that I, I created. I don't have much money because I didn't spend wisely. I didn't manage wisely. I just, I got all kinds of things going on. Child of God, that was your past. But at this moment, you can move forward. You can be everything that God has called you to be. The, there's a song that um, the, uh, I think it was uh, Sandra Crouch. I'm not, or or um, I forgot. Maybe Walter Hawkins and the Love Fellowship Choir. I, I don't remember exactly, but it says the Potter wants to put you back together again. You who are broken. Stop by and let the potter put you back together again. You've been broken in your past. You've been hurt in your past. You've been depressed in your past. But I'm here to declare to you tonight, you are not your past. You can get up from the ashes, and you can rise above it all, and you can be everything that God says you can be. Bishop Larry Trotter uh Sung a song, said, if God says I can, I can. 
I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. There's nothing impossible to him that believes. Take a look at me. I've got the victory because God says, if God says I can, I can. And let me tell you, God says you can. God says you can succeed. God says that you are the righteousness of him. God says you can live holy. God says you can be holy. God says that you can do all the things that he has ordained for you to do. You can make it, child of God. I know the road gets rough. I know the going gets tough. I know the hills are hard to climb. But as long as we have King Jesus, he will help us when we need help. And he will help us get to that divine destiny that he's called for us to be. So don't stop now. Doesn't matter how much money you have. Doesn't matter how much social status, who you're connected with. Trust God and let God lead you into your destiny and calling. It's all behind me. We're moving forward in Christ Jesus. Let us close with this prayer. Father God, we thank you for revealing through your word that it's all behind us and we can move forward. God, there's so many people that are dealing with past failures, past mistakes, past sin, and they can't seem to move over the hump. They can't go over the hurdle. They're stuck in what's behind them. God, you know them name by name, situation by situation. And I ask God that they get the deliverance that they need to become all called them to be. I see them in the future. They're moving forward. They're pushing ahead. And they will be all that you called them to be. Thank you for blessing us with your word. And thank you for living inside of us. And helping us to be all that you've called us to be. We're moving forward in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Amen. I'm frustrated, I can't take it, he make money go boom. I'm tired of seeking, I'm sick and tired, and he make money go boom. I clap my hand, stop my feet, he make money go boom. He make money go boom. I'm frustrated, I can't take it, he make money go boom. I'm tired of seeking, I'm sick and tired, and he make money go boom. But I clap my hand, stop my feet, he make money go boom. He make money go Gorilla, for real, for real, religion will kill you. I know killers who kill killers and real dealers who will deal with you. Plenty of gorilla resist figures, they don't understand till they deal with it. I'm teaching the truth ahead, they can't be winning. I'm giving the vision with that religion. Conditioned by the system, mentally in prison, and I'm diminishing innocence. Capability beyond limitations, my demonstration is militant. I'm a stone cold gentleman, and I'm colder than they ever been. They hurt me to set you in. My medicine comes with the blessing in it. Oh, don't wait a minute. Ooh, y'all go wait a minute. The statue of limitations on my spirit is never ending, that's why I'm grinning. That's why I handle business, staying optimistic, because the crooked system is ballistic, sticking to the mission, because my position is way bigger than being a Christian. Yeah. There's so much hate in my residence, disrespecting my race from the president. America screwed up, she's not celibate, African American, is not my heritage. Oh, I'm frustrated, I can't take it, ain't make money go boom. I'm tired of seeking, I'm sick and tired. He make wanna go boom. I clap my hand, stop my feet. He make wanna go boom. He make wanna go boom. I'm frustrated, I can't take it. He make wanna go boom. I'm tired of seeking, I'm sick and tired. And he make wanna go boom. But I clap my hand, stop my feet. He make wanna go boom. He make wanna go. So why'd you faking? You know we ain't playing. You was forgetting, just nothing crazy. Father, come save me. Devil, what you even talking about, like? You were sent to lie straight up out your mind, so Blood brothers together, let the world feel the boom Yeah, it's easy outside, all I see is the doom I'm the true who is you, yeah, my swag's to the room My ghost rider so holy, I let the spirit fill the room I know that you know, 
Yeah, I know that you know. Yes, I know that you know. Yes, I know that you know. Cause I've been told you so the end of days is coming. See bodies on floor. Talk about my airflow. Yeah, like water I flow. And I pray for you, pig, and I give you some more. But you gotta chill, though. Don't let that tea spill, though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I tell you the truth. Father, please forgive them. For they know what they do. Put their faith in the government. Take their eyes off of you. They put their faith in the government. They took their eyes off of you. Boom. I'm frustrated. I can't take it. He make one to go boom. I'm tired of sick and I'm sick and tired. He make one to go boom. I clap my hand, stop my feet. He make one to go boom. He make one to go boom. I'm frustrated. I can't take it. He make one to go boom. I'm tired of sick and I'm sick and tired. And he make one to go boom. I clap my hand, stop my feet. He make one. Wanna go boom? He make wanna go. Oh, he make wanna go boom.